these delicious goods for my new little friends. We're just gonna prepare it. We're over here at the Safari Guest House, which we'll be highlighting in a future video as well. But I'm just gonna get started and prepare this stuff for him. So without skipping ahead, comment down below who you think we are going to feed um, in this video. So like I had mentioned guys, we are at the Safari Guest House right now. This is something that we added on as an experience at the Myrtle Beach Safari just a few months back. So you can come stay and hang out here with us and the animals. Check out safariguest.com to learn more. We're gonna put the link below at the end of the video. We've got the oranges and grapes on here, which are some of my boy's favorite treats. But he's never had olives before. He's never had limes before. So those are gonna be something new and hopefully something that he likes. Either way, it's good for him to explore new tastes and try new things. So we're finishing up with the preparation. I'm just gonna give him a few of these pistachios. I know this looks like a lot of food, probably for any animal to have prepared for them, but it's really great because some of this is stuff he's never tried before and it's gonna be fun to see what he likes and what he doesn't like. And any food that we don't end up using today is gonna be passed around and delivered to other animals at the preserve. So nothing is gonna go to waste. All right, guys, so the special guest has arrived. This is Chewbacca, my four-year-old baby snow macaque. He lives here at the Myrtle Beach Safari and has his entire life. You guys might have seen him in some of my brother's videos with Sugriva, the chimpanzee. They spend a lot of time together. We're going to take him over to the platter and see what he thinks about all of these delicious things that we prepared for him. Bucky! Bucky boy, come here! Look! Chewy, look! What do we got for ya? Because that camera's interesting. Look! Chewy! We got oranges. I knew you were gonna go for the yogurt. So he's never had mushrooms before. This is his first time with the baby Bella. You tried it? You don't like it? Come here, boy. Mmm. Yeah, good boy. So he does get yogurt from time to time. It's a great source of protein for him. Remember, we picked one last night that was really low in sugar. Because even though he eats all these... Hey, hey, hey! Even though he eats all the fresh fruits and veggies, you're wild. Come here, come here. I got yogurt on my face. I got yogurt on my face now. You're a good boy. Come here. Chewbacca, you don't like the things that I got for you? Look, this is an olive. You never had an olive before. You're wild, you're wild, you know? So Chewbacca's normal diet consists of mostly leaf lettuce. Um, he gets apples, he gets bananas. He also gets a monkey chow every day. So that's what's gonna be where he gets most of his vitamins and protein and stuff is from, is the Purina monkey biscuits. You're crazy, you are, you know that? You're a big show off, you're a big show off. A lot of this is new for Chewbacca. His normal diet consists of a lot of vegetables. He also gets the monkey biscuits. <laughs> so every day he's eating and grazing all throughout the day, those biscuits and different types of leaves. He likes spinach. A lot of this is totally new for him. And again, whatever he doesn't eat, we know we're gonna go let Bubbles enjoy the rest of it. 
He sees the alligator behind me. That's what he's super interested in right now. This is like a new area of the yard for him, which is why he has to have the leash on, is because there is an adult alligator literally right behind us. Do you see her? What is that doing? We can go over there. We can go a little closer. I'll, I'll save you. I'll keep you safe. What's that gator doing? Hmm? So Japanese snow macaques um, generally get to be about 40 pounds, 35 pounds. Chewbacca is about 20 pounds right now. They live in big groups. Chewbacca was the only baby that we have at the preserve right now, but once he grows up, he will have a mate. Where are we going? live in the trees they also live on the ground even though that they'll live and sleep in the trees they actually always have their babies on the ground and for the first few weeks the mama will raise her babies on the jungle floor come on come on shoulder good boy shoulder 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 let's go oh we can really see georgia from up here bucky That's crazy. That's an alligator. Georgia, the alligator, has been living here since she was a baby. We let two baby alligators loose in here and they've grown up around the all of the guests at the preserve. I think Georgia's almost 17 years old now. Chewbacca's seen her a few times before, but he's never been this close to her before. So we use this bridge as just like an obstacle. We walk the tigers across it too because the ground moves underneath them and it's a great training technique for the animals to feel the ground move underneath them like this. So that's one of the reasons why we have this suspension bridge here. We're not going in with the gate. So just like walking around with the tigers, being here with Chewbacca and exploring the preserve together is just a way for him to see new sights, sounds, smells, things that he doesn't get to experience in his own enclosure normally. If you haven't seen the tiger videos of us walking around this preserve, make sure you go check those out. How are you doing, buddy? Come on, boy. Bucky, Bucky. You want to sit here and be a good boy and let me groom you while we talk? So clearly Chewbacca was a little bit uninterested. He has already eaten his meals for today. He's still grazing on a few of these things. We'll let him have a little bit of, out, of it out in his enclosure to enjoy, and then the rest of it we're gonna go give to Bubbles the elephant. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already, make sure that you subscribe because we're gonna be doing a lot more like this in the future, also with a bunch of other animals around the Myrtle Beach Safari Preserve. So click that like button, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bubba, I got some treats for you. We got some treats for you. What do you think about all that? Got some good stuff? Got some good stuff? Oh.